Hi, Facebook land. Uh, can you believe that this is the last Friday in August? I can't. Our spring break is finally coming to an end after six whole months. Um, I've chosen to send my kids to in school, so in person classes starting next week. And hopefully it'll go well. Um, but yesterday I asked the question. What have you learned this whole summer about our identity in Christ? So if you've been following our group, I've been posting different verses and blog posts about our identity in Christ. And um, this is a topic that I've been kind of mulling over in my head for almost two years now. And um, the more I think about it and the more I write about it and the more I speak about it, it comes back to... How much I think this is a fundamental thing in Christian living that if we can truly get a grasp on how God sees us and how who we are when we accept Christ as our Savior then we will have freedom and the freedom I'm talking about is the freedom of what other people think about us <laughs> I don't know about you but I spend I worry about what people think about me, right? Um, do they think I'm too loud? Do they think I'm too quiet? Am I too opinionated? Um, do they like who I am? Should I change who I am? All these things, um, even with my kids, right? They're at a really interesting age. My eldest is turning 11. My middle one just turned eight, both girls, and they very much depend on their friends and what their friends think about them. And so sometimes they'll come home and they'll just be in tears and they'll just be crying and I'll ask them what's wrong and they'll say, oh, so-and-so said that I was whatever. Usually not a great thing. And I look at them and I say, why does it matter what they think about you? Right? And they'll say, oh, but they're my friends and I want them to like me and they have all this drama around their friends and what their friends think about them. But... If we can root ourselves in what God thinks about us, then other people's opinion about us, it might have some weight, but it's not going to be the end of it, right? Just because somebody thinks we're um, a particular label doesn't mean it's true. Or maybe it is true, but it doesn't have to cripple us. We can take it to the Lord and say, you know what? I've, my eyes haven't been open, God. I now realize that I'm struggling with this particular characteristic. You know, is this something that you want to change in me? Um, and if so, please help me with that, right? Um, and so I truly, it truly encourages me and challenges me on a daily basis to say, oh, I don't actually need to worry about what all these people actually think of me. My only real concern should be, what does God think of me? Um, and so actually doing these Facebook Lives and opening myself up to people is really actually scary to me. And it's one of those things that I'm just like, okay, I'm putting things out there. How are people going to respond? And I get really kind of, I just want to take it all back and just shut down. Um, but one of the reasons why I'm doing this is because I feel like it's an obedience thing. I... The Lord has called me to write. The Lord has called me to share. The Lord has called me to teach. And so because I care about what he thinks of me, I put myself in uncomfortable situations because I'm obeying him. And some people may not agree with what I say. Some people may not even like what I'm saying. Um, but it's not about that. It's about my obedience to the Lord because his opinion of me matters more to me. And so when I get discouraged, I go back to these thoughts about who am I in Christ Jesus? What has he given me? Um, and just the freedom that comes with that. So I hope you've enjoyed the series. If you want to catch up, I think I posted a blog post just that has all the links to the different um, blog posts. Um, if there's something I haven't covered or you have any questions or it's something you want to discuss, you can always reach out to me through Messenger or in the comments even, and um, would love to hear from you. Anyways, enjoy your last Friday of August. <laughs> okay, bye.